Hello and welcome to this video on producing acetic acid. Acetic acid is more commonly known as vinegar. Whether you are producing it to recycle a bad fermentation or as a household good, vinegar is a simple but interesting product. Vinegar as you would know it is a standardized product that comes out at 5% acetic acid. Concentrates can be up to 20% acetic acid by volume. Traditionally, vinegar is made from a fermentation that proceeds over a very long period of time, nominally a year or more. Longer fermentations allow for the accumulation of what is now known as a vinegar mother. This is a non-toxic slime composed of acetic acid bacteria and cellulose. Newer, more novel methods are fast methods, and these involve the addition of the mother of vinegar without wasting time. The chemical equation is relatively straightforward. It takes ethanol and oxygen and converts them into acetic acid. You can see that here. This is a process of producing acetic acid at home, involving adding a large volume of vinegar mother to the spirit wash and waiting a month. The full story is only slightly more complicated. It begins with distilled alcohol at 5% concentration or a home brew like cider at similar concentration. Add this to a large glass bottle like a demijohn. Fill this to the halfway point to give the best balance of oxygen and fermentation. Unlike normal fermentations, this is not covered with an airlock, but a piece of cheesecloth or muslin. Add a culture of acetic acid bacteria. This was called the mother. This can be sourced from unpasteurized vinegar left to stand for a week with a little extra alcohol added. Alternatively, it can be bought online. After a month, there should be a strong vinegar-like smell. Strain off the liquid through the cloth and a coffee filter. Add the mother to another glass bottle. Store this with a little alcohol and glycerol. It can then be frozen. This is how you produce acetic acid. A final word on producing acetic acid. Do not use the same vessel for this as you use for brewing. The bacteria used for acid production can survive sterilization and ruin future batches of home brew. Use dedicated glass equipment. Secondly, use of different alcohols will create varied and slightly flavored results, such as apple cider vinegar or malt vinegar. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below.